With Roxio's Slideshow Assistant, you can produce an amazing slideshow with music to remember a special time or event in your family's life, then save it to DVD or iPod format. Let's try it. After opening Creator, click on the Photo tab and choose Create Slideshows. This opens the Slideshow Assistant. The first thing to do is import your photos. I'll click the Add Photos button and choose the pictures I want for my slideshow. This will be a short slideshow, but I could have added hundreds of photos. Once all your pictures are imported, you can reorder them by dragging them around, rotate them, delete them, and even edit them by clicking the Edit button. In the editor, you can do things like crop, remove red eye, and adjust brightness and contrast. I'll adjust the contrast on this picture. You can also add titles and captions to your slides by clicking the Add Text button. I'll add a title to the first photo and position it. Fonts, sizes, colors, and styles are all fully editable if you'd like to experiment. Next, I'll choose the widescreen aspect ratio since I want to play this on my HD TV. Now that I've gotten the photos the way I want them, I'll click the Add Background Audio button to add a soundtrack. Here, I could choose an audio file from my music library, but I'm going to show you how to use Smart Sound Audio. Smart Sound is custom generated music that fits the duration and theme of your slideshow exactly. For my vacation theme, I'll choose the Fusion style, then kick in back in the Shoreline variation. I'll preview a little of it by clicking the arrow button. Since I have five slides and I want them to play for about five seconds each, I'll leave the duration at 30 seconds and click OK to finish. The Smart Sound audio is now in my track list. Since I made the Smart Sound longer than my slideshow, there's no need to loop it. I'll click OK. At this point I could preview my slideshow, but I'll click Next. I can always come back and change things later. Here's where the fun begins. I can choose from a variety of transition styles. Let's try a few. The Dissolve style works well when combined with pans and zooms, which can be applied to all slides. The collage style shows multiple images per screen. And the travel album style puts a frame around your photos. I'll choose the dissolve style for my slideshow. Almost done now. I could also change the slide duration by clicking the plus and minus buttons. But I'll stick with 5 seconds. Now I'll preview my entire show to see how it looks. This looks great. I'll close the preview and click Next. Here I can output my slideshow to a DVD, a video file, or send it to VideoWave for further editing. I can also save the project so I can reuse it later. I'll click the Create File button to make a video that I can upload to YouTube or play on my iPod. You can save slideshows in almost any video format, from DV to AVC. I'll choose AVC from my iPod. For video quality, I'll select the iPod MPEG-4 option. Now I'll give it a name and click the Create Video File button to start the rendering process and save my show. Once saved, I can bring it into iTunes or upload it to YouTube. I can also output my slideshow direct to DVD by clicking the Burn to Disk button. This opens the My DVD application. From here, all I need to do is choose a menu style and title for my disk. Although I could also do much more, like add additional slideshows or videos from my hard drive. I'll click Change Menu Style, which gives me dozens of themes to choose from. I like the travel theme. Next, I'll edit the titles. This title is for the disc, and this title is for the slideshow. I'm ready to burn now. At the bottom I can see how much space the slideshow will take, and choose the disc size and quality level to fit. My small show will fit on a single layer DVD at high quality. Finally, I'll click the Burn button and insert a blank disk. I'm going to burn to disk, but I could also save my project as a disk image file or DVD folder. These can be played back on computers just like regular DVDs. Now I'll click the Burn button and record my disk. That's it. I now have a DVD to give to my relatives and a computer file to upload to YouTube.